Hey pilots, Skip here. I've been playing around with the Raptor and I did go ahead and install the uh, FPV system, the uh, the Vector by Eagle Tree uh, in the in the Raptor here. Now I didn't do the traditional method where the antenna is sticking up out of the top. The transmitter is back there, but uh, the camera come up out of here and I thought, well, you know, instead of this just looking like that, I could cut a little hole in this canopy here and and it would look probably right right nice like that. Not to mention a little more protection and it, it also holds uh, the top of this to the fuselage a little bit better so not going to get the bouncing around that way and I don't have to just strap a rubber band around it but uh, give you a peek at what we got inside here and how I did this we uh, really pretty simple guys everything's pretty much separated I've got the control unit down underneath in here uh, and it's double stick taped right up underneath the GPS unit here I don't see that that's going to pose a problem the Thing seems real sensitive and super super accurate. Uh, ESC back there and then transmitter all the way in the back. So everything's pretty well separated. Uh, with moving the battery forward to back in, in here, I can adjust my CG and get that right. Um, so let me hook this up here real quick and uh, and get this going for you, and give you a sneak peek here at what what it's looking like. I still have a, uh, some mode switches and stuff that I have to uh, arrange with my transmitter. And so that I get a couple of different three position switches. Right now I've just got a two position switch going. And I'm using this switch here right now for the return to home or, or loiter. But uh, for demonstration purposes I can at least probably show you the, uh, uh, the 2D uh, no hold. And then the 3D hold which would be like course lock. So let's get this fired up and give you a peek. And this just plugs in very, right here very easily. And uh, that one's good. That sounds good. Always likes when, like when it starts breathing right away. And we'll plug this one in, make sure we get our polarity right. in here like this I got a little locking pin right up here I want to get on one side and it just kind of walks right around and locks back in on this side and then that's pretty darn secure guys it's not going anywhere the camera's nice and tight it's not going to shake around now let's turn the uh, video on here and see what we're getting. All right, so let's just turn the video on here and see what we're getting. There we go. And as you can see, the uh, with movement of the airplane, the uh, the on-screen display works pretty well. Compass is very accurate. I was amazed. Uh, right now it is definitely pointing east. I mean due east. Uh, GPS coordinates, I move it thing just a couple of inches this way and the numbers do change. So I, I'm really pretty impressed with this guys. I haven't gotten into the other display functions yet as far as um, uh, working on the OSD because you can totally do all the parameters and stuff that you want on this thing. <laughs> I get to use this camera too. Um, but you get to totally do all the parameters that you want on this thing and, and set up all the colors and you can even put the, the different displays and stuff in different positions, whatever you want, where you want, as many as you want, as few as you want. You can even turn the thing off in flight if you want to. But uh, yeah, it, see, everything works. Now to show you the uh, uh, functions of the switches here, right now it is in, uh, it's in 2D hold. So I'm going to get, all I'm going to get right now would be gyro stabilization, and it does work. But if I switch, switch it down here, you'll see on the display, it'll tell me I just put it into uh, 3D hold mode. Okay, now if I go like this, it's going to keep it back in that position. So if I give a, a, a control a command, like, uh, okay, hard right, well, it's going to hold that position until I release that, that control. I can do it either with the switch, or I can just uh, let go of the controls, you know, jiggle the controls and they self-center. They, they self 
So, uh, anyway, in a nutshell, guys, this is the vector as far as I've got so far. Uh, about 88 pages to read on this thing. I think I've only gotten through the first few and a couple of videos of other guys that are uh, using this system. I was going to show you what the uh, goggles look like here real quick. See if I can get an image in there for you. Plug it in here. Okay, looks like we've got an image going in there. I uh, hope you guys can see this. But again, um, they have both sides. So, anyway, yeah, guys, pretty neat. So, uh, hopefully the weather breaks. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you know, we get a couple of nice days this winter where I can get out there in the field. This thing's great off the snow. It's just like a snowboat. Um, we'll have a lot of fun. Okay, take care. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. This is Skip signing out.